Hello friends, today in this channel, we will be learning how to design a spur gear using design data book. So for this, there are total 9 steps, which is selection of gear tooth profile, then determining number of teeth on gear and pinion, then the next step is selection of material, the fourth step is determining the weaker element among the both. Then fifth step is calculation of module based on beam strength. Then the next step is checking for the dynamic load, which is Lewis dynamic load and Buckingham dynamic load. Then the next step is checking for the wear load, and after that we'll be checking for the contact stresses, and at the last we'll be calculating the construction parameters. So for designing, I will be using this design data book, which is by PSG. College of Technology and this is 2018 edition. So let us start to design our spur gear. Our question will be design a spur gear pair using beam strength for the following data. Power transmitted is 15 kilowatt. Speed of pinion is 500 rpm. Reduction ratio is 3.2. Our first step is selection of gear tooth profile. We will be selecting 20 degree full depth commercially cut in module teeth profile. The next step is determining the number of teeth on gear and pinion. For calculating the number of teeth on pinion, we have formula which is Z1 is equal to 2 F0 upon sin square alpha, where F0 represents the addendum factor and alpha represent pressure angle. The value of F0 for 20 degree full depth is 1 and value of alpha is 20 degree which is over here which we have mentioned. Then substituting this value in the equation we get the value as 17.17 which we approximate to 18. Now we have to calculate the number of teeth on the here for this formula is z2 is equal to i into z1 which is equal to 3.2 into 18 which comes out to be 57.6 and after approximating it comes out to be 58 now we again recalculate the reduction ratio that is z2 upon z1 which equals to 3.22 as we see that the reduction ratio is not a perfect integer so there is no need of adding a hunting tool. Basically, the hunting tool is added when the reduction ratio is a perfect integer. When the reduction ratio is a perfect integer, which means that same teeth come into contact with each other during the meshing, which increases the wear of the teeth. So in order to prevent it, we add a hunting tool. Now. Our third step is selection of material. As the material is not given in the problem, so we take material as per our convenience from PHG 8.4. As our value of our reduction ratio is less than 4, we will be selecting the material for the pinion as is 14 NICR 1 MO28 and for gear it is 15 ni2 cr1 mo15 the design bending strength and contact strength for this is been given in the psg 8.5 if the material is mentioned in the problem then we have to calculate the sigma b and sigma c for this the formula is given in psg 8.18 and 8.16 now our fourth step is determining the weaker element among the both. For pinion, Fs1 is equal to sigma B1 into Y1, where Y1 is Lewis form factor for pinion. For calculating Y1, the formula is pi into small Y1, which is equal to pi into this equation. This equation can be found out on PHG 8.50 and we calculate the value of 
by 1 and after that we will be substituting this value in this equation and value comes out to be 1300 kgf per centimeter square similarly we will be doing for the gear and value comes out to be 1390.08 kgf per centimeter square as we observe that fs2 value is greater than fs1 value so the pinion is weaker element and our design will be based on the pinion so we have completed our fourth step and moving to our fifth fifth step that is calculation of module based on beam strain from PAG 8.13a we get the formula for calculating the module in which the MT over here is design torque and for calculating the design torque we have the formula which is MT into KDK for the value of MTK can be found with the from the equation which is 97420 into kilowatt per n this n represents the speed of the pinion and the value of KDK can be found in the PSG the value of MT comes out to be 4559.26 kg of into centimeter so substituting this value in this equation we get our model as 0.3391 centimeter as in this we have neglected the radial force acting on the gear tool we are increasing this model by 20 percent so that we are compensating for the radial load so the model comes out to be 0.4069 cm which is equal to 4.069 mm selecting this stand selecting the standard module from the PHG 8.2 we get the module as 5 mm from this we calculate the pitch circle diameter for the premium and face width for the pinion respectively and get the value as 9 cm and 5 cm respectively our sixth step is checking for the Lewis dynamic load and Buckingham's dynamic load the formula for beam strength of pinion is fs1 is equal to sigma b1 into width of the gear into module into Lewis form factor of pinion the value comes out to be 3250 kgf now the Lewis dynamic load is calculated by the formula ft which is tangential force acting on the uh, tooth of the gear into cv the value of ft can be calculated by the formula 2 into mt which is design torque upon d1 which is pitch circle diameter into cv the value of cv can be calculated from the phg 8.51 which is based on the value of vm which can be calculated by the formula pi into d1 into n1 upon 60 which comes out to be 2.36 meter per second based on this value we select this equation and substitute this value in this equation and calculate the value of cv now substituting this value in the equation and also the value of mt and d1 to find the value of fd which comes out to be 1813.57 kgf as we see that the value of fs1 is greater than fd which means that our design is safe so now we have to check for the buckingham dynamic load the formula for is is mentioned in PSG 8.51 in which the vm over here is in meter per minute so we have to multiply this value by 60 in order to substitute in this equation and 
after that we have to calculate the value of C which is now the value of C can be calculated from the PHG 8.53 which is mentioned in table 41 and the value of E can be calculated from the table 42 which is also mentioned in the same PHG number for the commercially cut gears. So the value of C comes out to be 644.16 Newton per mm. So converting it into kg of per centimeter, the value comes out to be 664.16 kg of per centimeter. Now substituting all this value in the equation and we get the value of FD as 1845.06 kg of. So our value of FS1 is greater than FD so our design comes out to be safe. But in a case when the FS1 value comes out to be less than FD so in this situation we have to increase the module and we have to recalculate all the required data such as PCD, face width, FS1, FD and again this FD and in that we will get the shape design for it. Now our next step is for checking for the wear load. The formula for calculating the wear load is mentioned in PHG 8.51 and we have to calculate the value of Q, K which is also mentioned in the same PHG number along with the formula and after substituting the values in the respective formula we get the value of FW since the value of FW is greater than FD the design is safe so what if the value of FW comes less than FD. In that situation we have to find the value of Sigma C which can be calculated by equating the FW with FD and calculating the value of Sigma C and calculating the value of Sigma C and from Sigma C value we will be calculating the value of the hardness number which is mentioned in the PHG 8.16 the formula for required to calculate the hardness for the material which is required in order to prevent in failing in wear load so the next step is checking for the contact stresses the PHG number for it is 8.13 and the formula is mentioned over there and substituting this value we get the value of sigma c as 8331.06 kg per centimeter square which is less than that design contact stress so our design comes out to be safe in contact stresses now our last step is to calculate the construction parameters for the gear and pinion the formula for all that is mentioned in PHG 8.22 and thus we have successfully completed the design procedure for the spur gear. If you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit notification bell icon for more videos like this and also don't forget to subscribe to my another channel where I post Christian musical videos and guitar covers. So thank you for watching this video and we will meet in the next video.